purpose of this video is to show the usage of GDI objects by SolidWorks in real time as we make normal changes, opening up parts and closing them. To do this, I've opened up the task manager and to monitor GDI objects, we need to have that column visible. So click view, select columns, scroll down a little bit and make sure GDI objects is checked off here. With that done, you'll see the SOLIDWORKS process, sldworks.exe, and the number of GDI objects right now is 755. That's with a clean slate, I've just opened up SOLIDWORKS. Now we'll open up a part that I've modeled. When I open up this first part, I'll see the number of GDI objects jumps up to 1105. I'll close that and open it over and over again. 1102. 1103. 1104. So not any real significant change between opening and closing this part over and over again. But what if I open up an assembly? 1261 1265 1268 so it is increasing by a couple but it's not dramatically increasing we'll probably never reach the limit of 10,000 at this rate but what happens if I open up this part while I have it open in an assembly 1302 1295 I'll close that now drops down to 1169 open it again and close it 1192 1215 1238 so now I'm just going to repeat this several times in rapid succession to see what happens if I keep on opening and closing this part while the assembly remains open. You'll see that the number of GDI objects just keeps on increasing. If it ever reaches that limit of 10,000, maybe if I leave SolidWorks open all day and continue to open and close parts like this, or if I leave it on all week, if I don't shut off my computer at night, that could happen as well. When the number of GDI objects reaches 10,000, Windows simply closes SolidWorks without asking. An interesting little aside here, I wrote a little code to do this automatically to see what would happen, see if I could actually get it to close SolidWorks. So I'll run my macro now. You can see it's just opening up that part, activating it, and closing it, just like I was. But you'll also notice that the number of GDI objects does not increase over time here. It doesn't really have any effect at all. So there's something different about how SOLIDWORKS is utilizing the open dialog to open up these parts like this versus using that same call with the API.